So the back windows on our road trek are these CRL or CR Lawrence automotive product windows. They look nice and they work pretty well until they fall off. So specifically, the bottom panel on this guy fell off. And luckily I caught it before uh, it fell off while I was driving down the road and broke. So now I have to glue the sucker back on. So it looks like the previous owner had already did a repair job on this by putting a hinge or two separate hinges on the outside of the window and then putting a piece of tape over that. So as you can see, this hinge and the glue there wasn't standard. That is not what we have on the other side. So I'm going to take that off and see if I can glue this back to the original hinge, if the original hinge is even working. All right, so it's supposed to be glued to this tiny little metal thing here, which is the reason it falls off a lot, because it's not all that much surface area. Um, and that just hinges up and down. And the only kind of tricky thing about putting it back is that you really want to have these guys in the appropriate slots on the window glass when you're gluing it to that thing. So I see evidence of several different types of glue. That might be an epoxy or a hot glue. Probably the right glue there. Something else here. And at least one of these guys, I suspect both of them, this one fell off right here when I was taking it out. This guy's still on, but it, with the tape there, it has evidence that it's been glued on. So, we need to clean all of this gunk off the back of the glass here and get it ready for the real stuff. I had to guess, this stuff here is the factory urethane that fell off originally. And this stuff here is just stuff that got in the hole when they glued the hinge to the front. But we've got to get it all off. So hopefully this razor knife will get a decent amount of it. There was a lot of leftover glue on the glass, but luckily most of it came off using razor knives. Remember to cut away from your body. I really recommend this flat style razor holder for thin residue. Although I have a bottle of acetone next to the rubbing alcohol in this clip, I found that it wasn't needed and the 91% alcohol was plenty to clean the glass. I also had to scrape the glue off of the surface of the hinge. I'm using a piece of aluminum to hold the hinge surface out away from the rubber gasket. After scraping, I sanded it to get the last little bit off, then cleaned the surface with rubbing alcohol. This Beta Seal U418 is a urethane adhesive designed specifically for auto glass, and I'm happy with its performance. As it's activated by moisture in the air, if you are in a dry environment, you may wish to have a water mister on hand to activate it. Note that the tube is basically single use, and you'll need to pop the seal on the back and then pierce the front foil with a nail immediately before dispensing. It comes with this extra large nozzle, so you'll also need a special caulking gun that comes with a large enough front opening to accommodate it. The one I bought is specifically made for thicker adhesives like this, and has a 26 to 1 high thrust ratio to make dispensing easier. I also bought a heavy duty aluminum vacuum plate glass holder, and I found it to be very useful when positioning the window. Because one of the roller arm support tracks had come off the glass, I decided to glue it back on at the same time I did the window in an attempt to line things up nicely. I attached it to the support arm with gaffer's tape. The next bit is a two-person job, so grab a helper. We worked through the full procedure in a dry run without glue, and figured out how to balance a piece of lumber to provide the downward and inward clamping force. We also figured out where to place the other clamps to hold the support track to the glass. Removing the entire window from the van and working on it separately would have made clamping easier, but as you'll see in a bit, I was able to use a collection of clamps, the heavy piece of lumber, and lots of gaffer's tape to get the glass clamped to the hinge piece overnight. The helper's job is to keep the piece of glass in the right position until you can get all the clamping fixtures in place. 
My big piece of lumber is providing plenty of force, but I needed to use lots of gaffer's tape to keep the glass exactly where I wanted it, as some of that force is pushing downwards. I let the urethane dry overnight, pulled all the gaffer's tape off, and the window is working again. Of course, the previous repair done to the outside of the glass had left some adhesive residue on the top half, so I had to clean that up. I also had a little bit of urethane escape from the top of the glass, but a single cut with the razor knife cleaned that right up.